There is a story about the Chair of Death, in a small village far from the city crowd, precisely located in North Yorkshire, England. A chair made of oak appears to be ordinary and harmless at first glance. Who would have guessed that the chairs on display in a museum corner with their hanging position did not touch the ground, preventing visitors from sitting in this death chair attacked by a 300-year curse made by the death chair's owner. This chair, it turns out, has a terrible story that will make the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. Beginning in the late 1600s, a local named Daniel Audi happily committed several crimes for the sake of his family's survival, including jewelry theft and currency counterfeiting throughout the city. Daniel has a daughter named Elizabeth Audi, whom he adores. Elizabeth once fell in love with and married a local man named Thomas Busby, who was also a partner in her father's crimes. After jointly counterfeiting the currency, Daniel and Busby had disagreements about the distribution of rations, which resulted in an argument. They ended the argument and went back to their respective homes because they couldn't come to an agreement. Daniel went to the inn where Thomas Busby and Elizabeth lived the next night. According to many sources, Daniel went there to return his daughter, Elizabeth, to his home. According to another source, Daniel only wanted to visit for the sake of visiting. Who would have guessed that Daniel's arrival at Busby's house would be his final visit to his daughter? After returning from a drunken party with his friends, Thomas Busby noticed his father-in-law, Daniel, sitting in his favorite chair. With emotions still running high and being drunk, Busby couldn't help but feel the anger inside him. He got into a fight with Daniel. Elizabeth, who was powerless to intervene at the time and had to remain silent while watching the fight. Daniel, who had just realized Busby was drunk, abruptly ended the fight and excused himself to go home. When Thomas Busby learned that Daniel had returned home while still under the influence of alcohol, he became even angrier and decided to follow Daniel to his house. When he arrived at Daniel's house, he attacked him with the hammer he was carrying, hitting him on the head until Daniel was lifeless and covered in blood. When Daniel's body was discovered, Thomas Busby was named the prime suspect, and he was tried for murder. Moments before his execution, Thomas Busby asked for time to say his last wish. He went to his inn, visited the chair he adored, and cursed anyone who sat in it to die horribly. The innkeeper, who lives in the same house as Thomas Busby and his wife, immediately uses Busby's story to attract customers. He keeps the damned chair and moves it into the room to welcome customers interested in Thomas Busby's story. Thomas Busby was executed by hanging right next to the inn where he was staying, the inn was eventually renamed, Busby Stoop Inn, using the name Thomas Busby to capitalize on the inn's popularity. Residents testified that everyone who sat in Busby's chair would die soon. Many soldiers who sat in Busby's chair during World War II did not return safely, and residents speculated that they were cursed by Busby's chair. There are numerous stories of people who died after sitting in this chair, and the details of their deaths vary greatly. Among them was a chimney sweep in 1894 who, after drinking at the inn's bar and deciding to sit in Busby's chair, was discovered dead the next day hanging from the inn's front post. His death was deemed a suicide attempt because he was depressed, and many residents linked his death to the Busby curse, which was still in effect. More are on the way, an apprentice at the Busby Stoop Inn has challenged his co-workers to sit in the cursed chair. His friend accepted the challenge and sat down. He was discovered dead near the inn in the afternoon after a mysterious accident. The same thing happened to two young airmen who spent the night sitting and relaxing while chatting. They were initially hesitant to use Busby's chair as their seat, but because they were desperate and wanted to try with Busby's curse, they both ended up sitting alternately in Busby's chair. They were both discovered dead in a car accident while returning to the airbase. Tony Earnshaw, the owner of the inn passed down from generation to generation, became so bored with death being shaken up by Thomas Busby's curse that he eventually moved the chair to the basement to avoid people sitting on the cursed chair. However, there was an incident that occurred. A delivery driver who brings items to the inn's basement. This driver apparently didn't know about the Busby seat curse, so he sat in Busby's chair. He continued on his way, feeling well-rested, and died in a car accident less than a few hours later. 
Tony Earnshaw decided to donate the cursed chair to a local museum, requesting that it be displayed in a location where no one could sit on it. The Thirsk Museum, which is housed in an old building, is the local museum that received Busby's seat. The museum took the chair and suspended it so that no one else could sit in it. They also labeled the story of the Busby chair and the stories of the victims who had died after sitting in this cursed chair, as well as a warning not to touch it for their own safety. Based on the wooden structure used, a furniture expert, Dr. Adam Bowett, concluded that the Busby chair in the museum was made around 1840, 138 years after Thomas Busby was executed. Although the chair on display at the museum was not the original chair cursed by Thomas Busby, the chair's story had become a public concern, particularly for those interested in the history of mysteries and the paranormal. Visitors also did not appear to have the courage to sit on the chairs on display at the museum, fearing that Thomas Busby's curse would befall them for the rest of their lives. One of the unanswered questions to this day is where the real Busby's cursed chair is. Until now, no one knew. What are your thoughts on the Thomas Busby chair? I really appreciate your input. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Be a part of the Chris Crime Diaries family and hit the subscribe button now.